Sunday night football, huge game, Lions, Texans, and we're going to fade a 44-17 and 17 against the spread situation. I'm going to give that to you in a moment and explain why we're going the other way here. Free play, Sunday night football, coming up. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. And hey, I hope you're with me Thursday night. That easy over between the Ravens and Bengals brings our free play Thursday night NFL record now to 7-1 and one this season. Be sure to check back next week for the Thursday night NFL play. And be sure to click the bell when you subscribe here so you never miss these free play videos. But trying to do these primetime games Sunday and Monday night football as well for you. And this Sunday night, we've got Lions and Texans. And it's a great matchup, an interconference matchup. And we're going to fade the public here. The Lions look like a public side once again. And why not? They're 7-1 and one against the spread this season. And going back since Dan Campbell took up over three and a half seasons ago, they were 37-16 and 16 with Campbell. They've gone 7-1 and one this year. So yeah, they're now 44-17 and 17 against the spread since Dan Campbell took over back in the 2021 season. But we're going to fade that 44-17 and 17 spread record as I do think the Lions come back down to earth. And we're also fading the public here, which, as I always say, is something I look to do. Now watch. The public has done great in October. We get that. And they've been fantastic over the past month. But one of the reasons is because they keep playing against bad teams. And I always talk about playing against public dogs. One of the reasons I like playing against public dogs is because you get a quality team as a favorite. Well, this isn't a fade the public dog situation, but we're still getting a quality team in the Houston Texans. And this is the subset of fade in the public that I like to use the most. And I think there's some other reasons it works as well. First of all, one of the premises behind fade in the public is that you get line value. And that's definitely the case in this game. As the look-ahead bettable line a week ago was two and a half. Now it's three and a half and it's going higher by Sunday night kickoff. There might be more fours out there with the public coming in on Detroit. So once again, we're getting some value here and that's a very key number to get some value on. The difference between two and a half and three and a half is almost a 10% greater chance of covering in this game. And I do think that makes a difference. And while the Detroit Lions offense has been fantastic this year, their defense is still suspect. In fact, statistically speaking, the 18 and a half points a game allowed is very misleading. They've given up almost six yards per play. In fact, they've given up 5.9 yards per play against teams that average just 5.8. They've given up almost five yards per rush, 4.8 against teams that allow or average just 4.5. This is a very mediocre Detroit defense. They've been getting by with offense, but on the road, hostile environment, laying more than a field goal now. I think that suspect defense could be exposed tonight. Now, look, the Texans have been very mediocre on offense this year, but they hold a substantial defensive edge in this game giving up just 5.1 yards per play. And their pass defense has been one of the best in the NFL, statistically at least, 5.4 against teams that average 6.5. Now, I know that the Lions passing attack is a huge step up in class. I get that. But they still are the better defensive team, a defensive dog getting an inflated line, 3.5. I like the Texans in this spot here, a little bit of a contrarian call. And one other thing I want to point out is that in the NFL, when you win, you normally cover So yes, I would not argue against the Texans' money line, but I do think the fact that we're getting three and a half here, the point spread makes some sense here, as it was just two and a half a week ago. But the Texans have one of only two teams in the entire NFL out of 32 teams this year that have a winning straight-up record, but a losing point spread record. Now do with with that as you will. Uh, It does tell you, first of all, the Texans came in a little overvalued. And by the way, that's not a surprise. You'll know I've been saying all year long, after going from second-worst team in the NFL to a playoff team last year, I did think they would be overvalued this year. So despite the 6-3 and three start, they're just 3-5-1 and one against the spread. But I think now that is evened out. We will get some value with Houston going forward. They are still a quality team. By the way, the only other team in the NFL with a winning straight-up record and a losing ATS record? Pause it if you want to think about it before I give you the answer. Pause. All right, if you're back now, I'll give you the answer. It's the Packers. 6-2 and two straight up. And they're, um, I'm sorry, 6-3 and three straight up four and five against the spread. So Green Bay and Houston, the only teams with winning records, losing ATS records. And I think in Houston's case, that makes so much sense. They came in a bit overrated, a bit public this year, but now the public is fading them. And we'll take that adjusted line value with the Texans plus three and a half on Sunday night. Now, of course, there's always concerns with every play. I know many of you are going to comment. And by the way, I love the comments. Please do comment below. I read them. I reply back. I know many of you are going to say, look, they haven't stepped up in class well. And I get that. There are three losses this year for the most part, have been against the better teams they've played. They got blown out at Minnesota, and they also did lose, of course, to Green Bay by just a couple. They actually covered that game, and then a tough loss against the Jets last Thursday night on Halloween. But if you notice, all three of those games were road games. Um, This is the first quality opponent they've had at home this season, and as a home dog, Sunday night football, I think they'll show up. And they get a little bit of a mini bye week. That game against the Jets, of course, was Halloween night last Thursday. Boo, did I scare you? Texans Chainsaw Massacre. See what I did there? 
But I think they bounce back and they have a little bit of a mini bye week since that was the Halloween game. Hey, comment below. What are your thoughts on this game? I do read the comments. I reply back. Are you enjoying these weeknight or primetime, I should say, Sunday, Monday, Thursday night NFL games? I know you're enjoying the Thursday night videos. Went 7-1 and one with that easy over winner between the Ravens and Bengals. And hey, speaking of the comments, the comments were fantastic Thursday night. Several of you said, hey, look, I'm going to wait and play it in game. Hope for a low starting Thursday night game as we often see. And boy, did that work out. We had, what was it, 34 points the first three quarters? No, 35 points the first three quarters, and then 34 more points in the fourth quarter alone. And many of you put in the comments, I know some of you jumped on that idea. I have replied as well, hey, that's a great strategy. We do truly learn and earn and win together here on Wager Talk TV. That's why I love the comments. That's why I do truly read them and reply back. And once again, several of you, shout out to you. Great strategy on Thursday night football. Wait for an adjusted in game. Because once again, with that quick three day turnaround, three days of rest and travel only. You know, we do see some wonky results and slow starts sometimes on Thursday nights, and that is something I mentioned in the video I was concerned with. So, yeah, in game's a great way to play it. So, hey, look, comment below. Any other thoughts on this game? Any strategy you might be using? What about player props for Detroit or the Texans? I love it when you include the player props as well. Once again, let's win and learn and earn together here on Wager Talk TV. I love the comments. I do read them, and I reply back. If you're finding these videos useful, let me know as well. Thumbs up, like takes one second, boom, you did it. That's a great way to support the channel. Also, make sure you subscribe. Over 183,000 subscribers. I'm sure most of you already have, but don't forget, click the bell as well so you get an instant alert when these free play videos go up each day of the week here on the channel. College and Pro Hoops free play videos will be coming up soon as well. And speaking of basketball, off to a great start in College and Pro Hoops, a winning start again this season, and it's not a surprise. The NBA alone the last three years, I've talked about this a lot, we've won over 200 units in the NBA alone the last three seasons. College Hoops just started this week as well. It's just such a great time to be on board college and pro basketball with football going. The odds makers are scrambling. We pick our spots and we find the best bets each and every day. And if you'd like to get a three-day all-sports sampler, not too late still to try three days and nights for just 49 with promo code Steve3. And you can pick the three days you want. Uh, so sign up now and use that promo code before it expires after this weekend, Steve3. Or if you're ready to take a long-term investment approach, be sure to check out the one-year special, 365 SM365 is that promo code for about a dollar and a half per play for the next 365 days and nights of college and pro basketball, baseball, football, everything I release for one low price. Look, it's quite simple. If I have a play, every client gets it. I have one set of selections. They're my personal best bets, and every client gets the exact same plays each and every day, whether it's a one day, a three day, a one month, a one year. Everyone getting the exact same games I'm personally using each day as a client at wagertalk.com. You can go to the page right now and look, scroll to the bottom. You'll see the last 20 best bets recapped on a daily basis. You can click on any of them to read the analysis afterwards. And don't forget also, these promo codes and specials are listed on the page. You don't have to memorize them or decide right now. Go to my homepage, browse around, see which offer works best for you. And when you're ready to jump on board, become part of the winning team. Look, All Sports up over 165 units this calendar year, and there's still two more months to go. Don't forget also free plays. I post a bonus free play every day. A lot of basketball free plays during the week, college and pro football free plays on the weekend. So these videos are great, but bonus free plays also with analysis on my homepage right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Hey, get there quicker with shortcut wt.buzz slash sm. Follow me on X and Instagram at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X and Instagram. And stay tuned here to Wager Talk TV. Hey, there's some more great free betting content coming up next.